Say hey to Lola Lucas from me. He's a, he's a good guy. He does a lot for us. He does a lot for all the families. But, but, but a good guy. You Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. She is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. Catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. <laughs>
Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay, drive careful. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on it. Cause I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. 
What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. Really? <laughs> what, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, you got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Send him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, I Tom, it's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite Mikey Dunn is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. The pack rolls away, but there are some worried faces from the mechanics in the pit lane. Time to shine.
Y is a fine replacement. It's a tight pack as they fight for first. Drivers are on the final lap. Not long till it's all over, folks. Angelo is still out in front. Can he hold on? Anderson and Garcia are in second and third, waiting for a mistake from Angelo. Newcomer Tommy Angelo is still out in front. Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Just stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but, uh... Maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy, Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. That win just put my daughter through another year of school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited, and arrests will be made. 
Thank you. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You're saying there wasn't one today? People, please leave when requested and refrain from imbibing illicit substances. Let's not make it like last year, folks. Nothing like a party with the winnings in your pocket. Eh, I should go soon as I have to work, but not yet. Great race, champ. This your first time at the track? Ah, Last year I heard ah, the motors from my apartment, guy. but that's as close as I've gotten before. Hey, watch. Starts to try to clear us out before dark. How'd you drive know? after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen folly any place? Came okay, by five minutes ago, maybe. Look like you had a smoke from the barrel. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. 
Well, okay then. I guess. Let's go, Jim. <laughs> Today, Tommy, with the the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got our You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? We don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your minds race and done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... Whatever the hell he goes home to. Bobby, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own six. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Get with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies. Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I gotta take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. Uh, home? Bring me home. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's, yeah, a good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I don't feel so good.